He died alone, allegedly trapped in his bed rail. I'm Christina Howard, and that's how Danny McNeil's son describes his father's passing here at Maple Manor Long-Term Care Home in Tilsonburg. It's a brutal, painful death, and one that's happened to several other seniors in homes across the country, and one that Danny's son aims to end. I wish they would have had them down that night. Um, my dad would still be here today. So just, you know, I just want the public to know uh, we got a problem with these bed rails and we got to change it. Bed rails used as restraints, an ongoing subject of warnings by Health Canada, most recently last year, when Health Canada issued a safety alert reminding hospitals and long term care homes about the risks of potentially fatal patient entrapments. In the past two years, there have been 25 reported incidents of patient entrapment, seven were fatal. That's how Kevin believes his father died. I received a call, my dad. Uh had passed, uh, unusual circumstance, had his head trapped in the bed rail and uh, the doctor uh, coroner said he had bruising on the chin, neck, um, probably uh, died of uh, suffocation, uh, strangulation. According to Kevin, an alarm should have sounded when his father fell from the bed. In every time I was there, it worked fine. Um, I'd get him dressed to go out or he'd sit up, the thing would go off, pretty sensitive. And uh, just that day it went off and uh, nobody got to him uh, in a quick time. I mean, I don't know exactly the time, they're trying to figure that out. Uh, it's a major factor. In a statement, Maple Manor's administrator would only say, we are deeply saddened by this incident. As this matter is presently under investigation, we cannot comment on the specifics. But the home has been cited for safety violations involving both the use of restraints and bed rails in the past, including in 2016 when inspectors found that the licensee had failed to ensure that no resident of the home was restrained by the use of a physical device. Or in 2015 when the home was cited for failing to ensure that where bed rails were used the home had taken steps to avoid patient entrapment and later that year 36 of 108 beds were identified as failed in some cases because of a lack of mattress keepers or rails that required ongoing tightening staff told ministry of health inspectors that they had received no training on rail safety the home refused to answer our question via email, so we drove to the home, where the administrator again refused to tell us if staff have been trained and when the last training was. The Ministry of Health confirms that they are aware of the incident, but wouldn't provide any comment on the situation, citing patient confidentiality. Be careful, uh, make sure your family members have their rails down at night when in bed and let them fall to the floor, it's much safer. McNeil says his family expects a full report from the ministry later this week. In Tilsonburg, Christina Howard, City News.